please leave the room. Would you please ask him to leave the room and remove him from the room? Thank you. Before we move forward uh, with the board meeting, there are some ground rules that I'm going to ask us to adhere to. And one is that to be civil and respectful. I know we'll have comments from many of you. The disruptive clapping that occurred at the last board meeting will not be tolerated. I will only ask you once to stop. If you do it again, I'll ask you to leave and I will only ask you once. If you have comments, I would ask that you be respectful of the time that everyone is putting in tonight. It's two minutes. We respect uh, the fact that you want to share and we're going to listen, um, but you also have to be respectful in accordance with the, the college's policies. Civil communications is what we're asking for. I am here to share my opposition to the suggestion that our budget issues may be effectively remedied through a variety of options that include a reduction in force of the full-time faculty. A larger, not smaller, contingent of full-time professors. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm going to say it for the record again. The applause has to stop or I will ask you to, I'm, sir, please leave the room. I'm going to ask you, please leave the room. That's, I'm only asking you once. Please leave the room. Would you please ask him to leave the room and remove him from the room? Thank you. Order. First amendment. First amendment. We're going to ask you to leave the room, please. Please leave the room. You know what? There's a problem with the culture at St. Louis Community College where you cannot clap. Please leave the room, sir. You are disrupting the meeting. Please leave the room. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. We're here today to talk about an incident that occurred at St. Louis Community College's board meeting. So I'm going to turn it over to Steve Taylor, who is a faculty member at St. Louis Community College. I was exercising my rights. I did nothing wrong. I was met with uh, inappropriate force to silence. We work long hours. It comes out to be about $10 an hour. Most of us have master's degrees or PhDs. Uh, I teach uh, eight classes a semester. I drive 105 miles a day between Harris Stowe, Jefferson College in Hillsboro, and St. Louis Community College in Wildwood. I make about $30,000 a year. I was told, hey, we have PhDs working in restaurants. You should be happy to have a job. About 70% of faculty in the St. Louis Community College system are adjuncts because we have to teach multiple jobs. We don't have insurance. We don't have offices. We have to share computers. I'll tell you, uh, St. Louis Community College is not somewhere where I would send a son or daughter. There are some other reports of something that happened last night, so mm -hmm. sure. I, I, I need to hear from you. And I've signed up to speak. I was going to talk about how I had won the award for being the best teacher of the year at STLCC Wildwood in 2015. I had some of my evaluations. I had prepared remarks. I in no way went there to protest. I went there for dialogue. And we politely applauded for their statements. You know, yeah, thank, thank you, Chancellor Pittman. Thank you, Mr. Singh. It went like this. And Rodney G. said, if you applaud, you will be removed. I stood up to express that I was troubled that we could applaud for administration and not, and I was going to say faculty, but then uh, he was just yelling. I was having, you know, he was just out of his mind. All I know is eventually, in quite short order, but I was driven into the concrete floor. Uh, my feet were brushed out from underneath me. I was rammed with his full body weight on top of me into the cement floor with a very thin carpeting. I bounced, my arm was twisted behind, and I feel I have damage there. I said, I'm complying, I'm complying. The twisting continued for a little while. Got up, I 
when they were leading me out, I said, you know, this is about the culture. STLCC said a few things. I said, if I can't clap, I don't want to be part of the college. It was, um, mm, let's just say, very aggressive. I think it speaks to the issue of two things, possibly better police training. I think we've had that issue in this city for a while. I'll say this, if I was a person of color, I might be dead. I'm sorry, that's my own personal opinion. It appeared to me that they were ready and anticipating someone speaking up, and it was a planned action on their part. And you were taken to the hospital. What injuries did you sustain? They believe that I have a, a cracked rib, uh, not broken, that you can see on the M M MRI, but a, a, a cracked rib. They were concerned about the bruising to the head. They were wanting me to monitor for concussion, but they, they did a CAT scan. They thought that it was a pretty substantial blow to the head. I don't like to make references to Nazism. I think at one point, when they were twisting my arm behind my back again when I was up, I said, this is fascist. It's like, is this America? What was going through my mind is, is this really America? And you didn't know this gentleman came up from behind you? No, I didn't. No, no, it's, all I know is jacket pulled in a, in a very violent fashion. And, and you know, at that point, it's, it's sort of a visceral what, what's going on.